Well, hello. This is uh, a bit of plein air painting on a very small sort of uh, eight by four plywood panel, eight by four inches that is, on Portmere Beach in St Ives in Cornwall. And there's my palette uh, I was using, the glass palette, titanium white, lemon yellow, cadmium red, magenta, Indian red, raw sienna, burnt umber, violet, cobalt blue, manganese blue and a bit of ivory black. And I've had to do a uh, separate voiceover for some of these sections because the wind was so bad it got into the mic and I lost a lot of the sound. There's Man's Head and Clodgy Point where I was looking. That's the view I was painting at Clodgy Point today. There's the Tate St Knives Art Gallery and the St Knives School of Painting where I was doing some filming uh, that morning uh, for an online webinar course which we were doing uh, about Whistler and Sickert and their stay in St Ives in 1884. That will be out in February. Uh, more details to follow. And I started this panel very absorbent gessoed ground and I had some medium there just a bit of terps I was using to start with and it's just two I did a couple of little quick sketches and it was really good fun and just more interesting trying to get the movement in the water a bit of cobalt for this one moment just to mark in place and some turps in the map. A few more people appearing on the beach now. Let's get this. So I was marking in that headland there at Clodgy Point with a mixture of urn tumber and cobalt blue. Just to mark it in place. I wasn't too interested too wasn't too bothered about it being perfect. It was just capturing the uh, idea of being in the, on that uh, quite empty beach with all, in all that wind in that storm I was just bashing my arm and easel around just moving everything around the sea is retreating that's really quite nice in shallows yeah. there's a lovely colour that water as a shallow in the shallows quite difficult to capture but yeah, that was sort of the shallow water as the tide was receding. It's very nice, uh, sort of warm, yellowy, red grey. If that makes sense. The sky was sort of a grey colour. Again, I wasn't too worried about getting the colours too accurately. It's all about painting really quickly. It's just about a fifteen-minute sketch, 10 15 minutes. So I was hoping to do it in real time and filming it. Yeah, obviously because I've lost a lot of the sound because of the wind getting into the microphone. I've had to chop a few bits out. They're using a nice uh, tinted white for the, just to get some idea of the waves coming in. Fairly big choppy waves. Now that's a lovely colour in those shallows. The water was just uh, drifting out. The tide was going out at the time. It's created this nice uh, yellowy red grey, lovely colour in the shallows. And there's, uh, I was just adding a different tint to the white there in the background, so I added a little bit of blue to that white to make it look further away, and just to make some changes in the surf. There you can see it go on quite nicely there in that more opaque paint. Same again, just adding little touches here and there. All the time being knocked around by the wind. So just getting some idea of what it was like while I was there. I tint, tint the white with different uh, colours. So some areas have got violet tints, so this is slightly more on the yellow side. Obviously the titanium white is quite uh, opaque and just added a little bit of that into the sky as well where it was a bit lighter just to go against that grey it was quite nice and 
I did a little bit of Indian red into that uh, headland there as there were some red, red areas. I thought they'd go quite nice against the green just to bring the, the green sea out a bit more. trying to explain to the windy microphone was there was a lovely reflection of that headland on the wet sand which would have been nice to include but I couldn't actually see it in the view I was uh, looking at it was a bit more to the left so I didn't include it and then just a few finishing touches before I decided to leave this one alone just to make a few marks in the water where the waves were See the uh, cliff there with the subsidence just behind me. Just spent uh, 15 minutes or so sketching out this scene. Uh, you can see behind me, uh, Clodgy and there, St Ives on Gorthmere Beach in St Ives. Just been doing this uh, quick oil sketch and it's been great fun. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call this day this one. I might even start another one while we're here. It's just been fun, but the beach is quite quiet, so I'm getting it all done. As the lights change again. Alright, I hope you can hear this in all this wind. There's no light on that water at all now, and it's changed quite a lot. to claim
quick sketch towards Crotty and the rough sea coming in up to the beach. Really good fun. Okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now. See you next time. Brighter, and that's the second one which I decided to do because I quite like the colour of the sea. It was really good fun. Now, thanks for watching. Bye for now.